Good Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt enjoying some beautiful blue sky outside. Just a few passing clouds in the distance. We may have just a handful of those around for parts of the morning, but uh, we'll have plenty of sunshine though in store for the rest of the day. And it is May 4th, so may the 4th be with you. I'll show you this one. Uh, yeah, there it is. Darth Vader is on my Death Star tie. So if Star Wars fans, we can, we can hang out and talk about Death Star weather. No, actually, it's actually looking like a fantastic day. Just a little on the chilly side. Uh, not like Hoth, the ice planet from Empire Strikes, Strikes Back, but definitely uh, something cooler than the seasonal average, put it that way. But uh, blue sky, again, in order for the day. And it looks like a, a great looking uh, quiet, anyway. Tuesday as we look toward the west with the Gwaltney Group camera from the, uh, the heart of Rochester right now. Looking at the possibility of uh, staying mostly in 50s for highs all week long. That is a possibility. Even with sunshine, that may be a, a thing going on here this week. As we are in the first week of May, sometimes it's not always up to a May standards. You know, we have a lot of variety this time of the year, and it would not be strange to have, you know, 90s over the previous weekend, and this upcoming weekend may have only 50s, and that wouldn't be all that weird uh, for where we live. We all know how, how things can fluctuate from one day to the next. And certainly that'll be the case this week. Right now, uh, blue sky overhead. Here's a day plan. We start in the 40s on our way to 57 uh, for a high temperature later today. Kind of a, a chilly northwest breeze at times 18 miles per hour. 40 uh, right now in, in Rochester, uh, just a quarter before 8 o'clock. Winds northwest 14 miles per hour. Feels like 32. Air pressure is rising. That is as high pressure gets closer. But temperatures uh, on the chilly side, not as many 30s this hour uh, as we are getting closer to 8 o'clock. A few minutes ago, at, at about 7 o'clock or just before 7, we had about half the map in the upper 30s. But now, eh, just about everybody's in the 40s. Mesa City, 38. But here at 40 right now in Rochester, 43 Dodge Center, uh, 46 in Winona, and Cresco now 44. Uh, satellite radar, just a few passing clouds. We'll have more and more sunshine moving forward the rest of the day. Those showers from yesterday have moved way out of our east. Severe weather going on parts of uh, Tennessee. Look at that, the bottom right-hand part of the screen. Uh, even some severe weather. It looks like a severe thunderstorm warning uh, going on in that part of uh, the region. But for us, pretty benign situation. Next storm system is in Montana. That'll bring us rain chances late tomorrow. We'll see that on future track. Today, some sun. A few passing clouds at first, then a lot of sun this afternoon. Kind of a chilly northwest breeze, though still at times 15 to 20 miles per hour. With temperatures only topping out in the 50s. You can bet it's going to feel even cooler than that. Uh, tonight, light winds and clear skies, mid and upper 30s. So getting close, you might want to keep those sensitive plants covered or bring them back in because it may be just a little close to frost. Uh, some of the areas uh, that are pr frost prone uh, may have some uh, minor issues. You're talking about some of those valleys and places like that. They tend to cool a little more quickly. Uh, tomorrow, some sun. Then here come the clouds in the afternoon. Some, some very widely scattered showers around 4 or 5 o'clock. And especially for tomorrow night into the evening hours and uh, un until about 3 or 4 in the morning on Thursday. Uh, morning sunshine Thursday. There are some clouds of the west that will come in, bringing just a ch chance of a brief shower or two by mid to late afternoon on Thursday as well with the gustier breeze on Thursday. And highs only in the mid and upper 50s. Today, 57 in Rochester, 61 in Mason City, and 59 in Owatonna. Winds at times up to 20 miles per hour today. Tonight, clear and cold, 36. That is almost 10 degrees below the seasonal average. And then tomorrow, not as breezy, partly sunny, a couple of sprinkles or brief showers very late in the day. 58 for your Wednesday. Uh, beyond that, look at a couple of showers late in the day on Thursday. And then for Friday, a quiet day. That'll be maybe the warmest of the next several, 60 degrees there. And Saturday, a shower or two in the afternoon. Uh, the cloud cover increasing 58 uh, on Saturday. But the seven-day forecast, a few showers still possible for Mother's Day, but not all day. I think we'll have showers in the morning, maybe hit or miss showers with occasional breaks of sunshine in the afternoon on, on Sunday. So it looks like a, not a terrible day, just a little on the cool side and just a little unsettled. Uh, and then looking ahead next week, maybe a shower or two next Tuesday with high temperatures next week still struggling to get the seasonal average by the second week of May. We would normally have highs in the upper 60s to near 70. Next week still talking upper 50s to low 60s at least until next Thursday or Friday. It does look like beyond that that we may turn the corner and warm things up. In the meantime, uh, yes, stay warm today with those cool uh, uh, winds and that sunshine. Have a great Tuesday. May the 4th be with you. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for the 5th. Of course, tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. So we can, I don't know, we'll do something to celebrate that day as well. But uh, I'll have a little sunshine there. And of course, as we get cl close to Mother's Day, we have, have to remember to, to send mom's card. Uh, I have to remember to, to mail that today. Have a great day. I'll see you back here tomorrow.